Yo. Morning. Um, well, on another model shoot day today with G. We got off to Liverpool through the tunnel again. I'm excited. I got some new stuff to try out, some new equipment and that. So we'll be talking about that and shooting loads of behind the scenes. I'm excited and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Peace. Hi guys, I'm Georgia. And I'm Owen. And we are here at Ultimate Model Day, and we're going to give you a little insight on what we get up to. Let's go. This is where Owen works his magic in the studio. First setup we're doing is going to be pretty simple. Just got one light, um, plain backdrop, and um, of a poly board to give a bit of a shadow on the face so very easy shot so we have the beautiful kia in today who's going to be shooting her first outfit now and this is actually the second time kia has booked on to us so we're excited to shoot with you again awesome yeah sound nice Perfect. So we've got this spotlight on Kia now. Yeah, love it. Here it is in my palm and I'm gonna send it. There it is. It is. Man, can you see that? See my drone? It is just there. Uh, it is following me. Here we go, let me go and get it. Come back to me. So we've got G on set now, and we are uh, gonna try the drone. Hi guys, so I hope you liked that behind the scenes video. I thought I'd just come as I always do at the end to talk to you about what equipment and stuff I used on the shoot if you couldn't see from the behind the scenes stuff. Two Sony A7IVs, um, may one I used, uh, this one had the 24-70 GM2, which I love. Um, that didn't really leave the camera and that's really what I shot on um, for the whole of the shoot. My other 7.4 had a 35mm on I think and that was to get behind the scenes and that was on a gimbal which is the DJI, no, yeah, DJI RS3 Mini. It's, it's pretty small but it's pretty cool gimbal so I think I had the 7.4 with a 35 on that for a couple of clips. This guy got a lot of use so this is the DJI Osmo pocket free um, held, uh, gave that to my assistant Sam and he shot all the behind the scenes stuff with that I love the footage from it it's really easy to use you can use it with the mic twos I'm super stoked with this and um, that actually the last shot I've just put on a G the video right at the end the last two clips were actually shot in slow motion with this in D log and I think they match uh, Sony's S log quite well I was quite surprised when I pulled it into resolve my Osmo Action 4 is was just used for the clip in the car at the start. Um, don't use it as much now that I've got a pocket free, there's not much call to use it really. Um, unless I want to go underwater and stuff, which it wasn't doing. Um, so yeah, I'm selling that at the moment, but I am going to get the, I've ordered the Action 5 just because I want it. So yeah. Oh yeah. And then I used the little drone as you would have seen. So a bit of a gimmick. Footage isn't really that good but it looks cool and it's fun to use so that's why I use this guy so yeah I actually really like using it so yeah I had that and that was all the stuff that I used yeah so 
Um, hope you like the vid. What I am doing is I'm actually doing, well, first of all, if you like the images on my next video, if you'd like to see the settings that I use, I'll put them underneath the images. So let us know in the comments below if you'd like me to add that. And I am currently working on doing an edit, a video on how I edit. So it won't be a massive tutorial, thousands of layers and stuff. I'm just going to show you my workflow. So I have a lot of clients and I have a quick turnaround for them. I'm going to do a quick video on editing. So we use Lightroom, Photoshop, um, Resolve. So, and I'll show you which, how, how I can edit quick to get results for clients. So if you'd like to see that, um, like and subscribe and then keep a lookout for it. I should be doing it after this video. It should drop after that. So I'm working on that at the moment. Uh, thanks for the support and yeah, see you guys later. Peace.